Hello everybody and welcome back to 539. So today brings us back to Western Ohio. We're gonna check out a little nature preserve and a park here and supposedly in the middle of it somewhere is an old 1800s graveyard. And so I'm not really sure how historical it is. It's obviously historic in age alone, so it should be pretty interesting. I don't really know how hard it is gonna how hard it's gonna be to find anything, so uh Let's head that way and uh, check it out. So it looks like it's actually up here with these buildings. I don't know what the building is either. If it's an old abandoned church, maybe an active church. That's interesting. There's no real signage. This is the park though. So apparently it's in here somewhere. I would almost imagine that it's close to the road though. I really hope that there's no fee to get into this place. doesn't appear though. Okay, I think that's just a little pavilion for that sports field. Whoa, look at this bridge. Oh, this is scary. A huge building coming up. I don't know if that's an old barn or what it is, but I don't even know where to park in this place. It does look like there's people here though. Maybe. So it kind of looks like an Amish van or well, something that they used to uh, get around in, usually having a driver of some sort. We're definitely going to walk around here and see if we can find this old graveyard, uh, see what else is around the area, and then maybe uh, if there's nobody in there, since I know Amish don't really like to be filmed, uh, if there's no one in there later, we'll at least give it a look and see what's inside. So. Here we go. Looks like there's already somebody else that's uh, slightly afraid to cross that bridge. They got to the bridge and threw it in reverse. All right, let's go. Uh find this little graveyard. I think I can see a, a trail in the woods. I don't know if we have to take that or not. But again, I'm getting this feeling since there does seem to be an old abandoned church up across the street from the park that this place should probably be somewhere near that. I would assume that maybe they were associated but I'm not 100% sure on that, so who knows? We could be walking around here for a little while. There's definitely another trail that goes off in that direction. I'm not seeing any signage of any sort, so kind of hard to say. And it looks like this is where the trail leads to, so I don't know. It's a fairly large creek, but really shallow. And that's what's running under this crazy looking wooden bridge up here. But luckily, it is sitting on metal trusses, I believe. Maybe I'm saying the wrong thing though.
Wow. You can see that it was actually, looks like a Boy Scout troop that did the uh, rehabilitation job here. I don't know if that's really cool or kind of scary. Like, no offense to the Boy Scouts or anything. They're a great, you know, it's a great thing to have clubs like that to get uh, young people outdoors. But I'm hoping it was some people with, or some scouts with a little bit more experience that did the uh, construction. Through the trees, you can actually see the old barn. We're getting really close to the road now, so I'm hoping that we run into this place. I do see a sign coming up. I can't really tell what it is from here though. Still no sign of anything, but I can start to make out the uh, old church through the trees now. So I'm thinking we should be close. And it might be like a modern day sign for the historic graveyard, but I'm not 100% sure. This path is bumpy too. Oh no. Something far more gross, I guess. Apparently this is where all the sewer water goes after it's treated. All right, continuing forward. Whoa. There's actually deer running across the field across the street right now. Looks like an old animal trail maybe. made it all the way to the church. Still no sign of this graveyard. And also no sign of if the church is a part of the park or not. There's definitely electricity running there still. Hmm. Well, we'll just enter back in the way we came and try to spot it along the road. If not, then I'm just assuming that it's going to be uh, behind the barn somewhere. So uh, cutting forward a little bit, it looks like this is actually, the field that we passed is actually a RC airport for uh, RC planes to come and take off and land at. Our uh, truck is also left too. See there's large roller to make sure that the uh, grass remains flat. Oh no, it looks like maybe our truck has gone off into the woods and done some off-roading. Interesting. I mean, maybe it's legal, but they kind of uh, 
backed up and parked for a minute, almost seemingly waiting for me to go away, and then took the off-road track. So, a little weird, but maybe it's actually not their tracks, because it looks like they just lead up here. So maybe it was just maintenance tracks that resembled the same truck. There is some tracks that continue to go. I don't know, maybe uh, people are allowed to come down here and just fish or something like that. I mean, it is wide enough. And again, there's no signs saying that they can't. So, who knows? All right, this place is big enough. I'm gonna have to make a few cuts here and there so that we don't use up the entire memory card just trying to find this place. Especially since I may be, may be just going in the wrong direction once again. So cutting ahead a little bit, I've walked quite some ways down this little creek. Uh, I'm still in the park and I have no sign of this uh, truck or anything. Um, the only clue I have is some old photos in which I can see very clearly that this old cemetery is butted up against the forest. So directly behind is the trees and it looks like it's just on the very, very edge of the forest. And so it kind of gives me an idea of where I need to go, but there's a lot of area to cover where that could be. However, up on the hill here, I'm seeing a little fenced off area. That may be it right there. I don't know how I'm gonna cross though. Oh yeah, I think 100% that's it. I just need to get across this creek somehow. Otherwise I'm gonna be doing a lot of backtracking. The creek is really shallow. But this is the first location I'm filming today. And my boots are waterproof. I just don't know if I really want to risk it right now or continue on ahead and hope that there's like a small land bridge. But that's clearly it. I can even see the top of some of the headstones. But like some of the water is only less than six inches deep so I really could do it. Especially right here. But it still just, it worries me a little bit that if I didn't tie my boots quite uh, tight enough that maybe something would leak through and then I'd be sort of done for the day. Because I unfortunately did not bring a change of shoes with me. Alright, let's continue forward and see if maybe there's a better way to do this. walked a little ways. I'm not seeing a bridge yet. However, this part of the creek is so shallow that a lot of the stones are sticking up out of it. So I think we're gonna do a quick test and just walk across the creek real quick and up on the other bank and then we can backtrack to our old, uh, our, uh, old cemetery. And there's even an abandoned structure here. I think it was part of an old bridge. You can see right here. There's actually a cement foundation and two poles sticking up. I don't see anything on the other side, but I'm betting it was a bridge at one time. All right, let's hope that I'm not gonna get water in my boot. Sort of testing it right there just to see. There's an animal up here somewhere. I couldn't see it, but something just jumped out of the brush. You can see where there's been like deer coming down to the bank and going back up. Whoa. All right, we are through. We just need to get up that ridge there. 
I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Oh, there's, it looks like there's a staircase. So it looks really steep. This is good, okay, excellent. And here we are at this structure. I didn't want to check this out before we go up. Yeah, definitely used to be a bridge of some sort, it looks like. That's kind of cool. So wow, this place is really pretty interesting. This is a sketchy looking staircase. It doesn't look like anybody's really been down here in a while. I don't know how much maintenance gets done on this place. The front of the park obviously looks amazing, but this part looks kind of rough. Not too terrible though. We'll see how it goes climbing it. They're barely even stairs anymore. Wow. Almost feels more dangerous than trying to uh, climb the side of the hill. I mean, I'm just literally having to wedge my feet in between. It's getting a little bit better as we get towards the top though, thankfully. Yeah, now I feel like I can stand up finally. Oh. We've made it up. And just right ahead is our destination. So that was a really convenient place to cross. This place was a lot more hidden than what I was expecting. We're actually pretty deep in the park right now. And the park is a lot bigger than what I was expecting too. There is a decent trail leading back here, but I didn't see any signs pointing towards it at all. But wow. So we have made it. I wanted to see if there was like a historical sign of some sort. I'm not seeing anything like that. There is a little modern day plaque, it looks like, right, right up here. Excuse me, right up here. Oh, that has nothing to do with the cemetery. All right. So it looks like this would have been the original gate here. And it appears that they have utilized some of the old fence work. Wow, all that's left on this one says age 73 years.
So some of them are in really good condition and then others are just kind of deteriorating away. Again, no signage whatsoever. I'm gonna have to walk down the other way and see if maybe there's some signage down the trail. Because there's the trail this way that we didn't come in on and then this is the direction we came in on. And right here is a veteran. It's like 1876, so probably a Civil War veteran. And it's the only veteran marker that I'm seeing here so far. There are some things over here by the tree. It looks like there was a flag at one point. Okay, here is another veteran's marker here and definitely, uh, well at least most likely a Civil War veteran. And there was a flag there but it's so deteriorated that there's no way to really put it back. And it looks like this is just a discard pile here. Some old base stones that have been tossed aside so that they could just stick these stones in the ground if they were too broken. And you can see in the backs of some of them where they are utilizing the original base stone. So I don't know, maybe they actually replaced them. I'm not really sure. But definitely a discard pile. I don't see any actual names or dates on anything back here. But this tree here is looking really dangerous. It's kind of old and almost, I don't think it's rotting, but it looks close. And if it were to fall, it could definitely crash into a lot of these and cause some real major damage. But you can kind of see here where something has just been propped up. So it might be something that was lost. There is a little bit of a gap in between these two where it looks like there could be another one. But you can also see a gigantic tree root so it's hard to tell which came first with a tree of that size. Uh, the tree is probably incredibly old. Oh, wow, what an amazing old place. Way back here in the woods, you would never really even assume it's here unless you mistakenly came here and, and stumbled upon it hiking back here. There were a few old photos on the Google Maps page, but, you know, again, if you were to never accidentally just stumble upon that page and see the photos, you would really never know it was even here. All right, we're gonna continue on down this trail, take a brief look at some of these old buildings up here, and then what we'll do is just keep an eye out for any historical signage to this place, although it's looking to me like it just no longer exists. So if that's the case, we'll probably cut forward here a little bit and check out some of the old farm stuff. And it looks like this was probably part of the original road that led back here.
Tell you what, this is one crazy looking place. Well, there's a little bit of evidence of some brick here, it looks like, or, oh no, again, just an old piece of clay piping. I tell you what, that old graveyard was really well hidden. And I still have not spotted any signage whatsoever. And a lot of deer tracks. Surprised that we haven't seen any. Is that an old? Wow. This old concrete block that's completely been covered in moss. You can barely see its actual structure there. But that's kind of cool. All right, so cutting up a little ways, we are finally back to the main road here. You can see the only real marker per se is this little picnic bench and rock. I don't think the rock has any kind of plaque on it either. No, nothing. So maybe it's just to try and prevent people from driving back. There is the remnants of an old gate it looks like. Probably just a cable tie. Or it looks like maybe just chain link. So we'll go ahead and cross the street here and take a look at this old barn. I'm not sure if our Amish friends are still there and we'll have to stay out of their way. Or what the case is, they may be doing some further rehabilitation here. There's a lot of Amish construction companies in this area. So not really sure what we're going to run into. It's looking like we're alone though. <laughs> yeah, whoever was here left. So let's uh, head in. I think it's just completely open. This place is huge. And the doors are wide open. All right, it just says do not litter. Whoa. This is pretty crazy looking. Looks like maybe they still even hold church services here. Oh wow. This is really cool. Somebody else just pulled up. I'm not really worried about it. But uh, let's uh, hop up and see if we can get a look at some of the upper levels. Definitely doesn't go through this way. I thought that was the way through. Maybe kind of good though with these people here. I don't know if it's maybe park maintenance or something. And I hate to think that they're here to lock the place up. But I guess you could just slide under right there. All right, let's walk around and see if there's a door on the other side. You can see the loading door right there to Probably drop hay bales down. And it looks like it's three stories. And even another building right here. Oh, that's actually a restroom. 
And it looks like the top sections might be shut off. It might be like sort of a situation where you have to rent it out for like weddings or gatherings of some sort. Yeah, it's sealed pretty shut. I can't pull it open. It looks like the car just turned around though. Not a big deal either way, but let's uh, see if we can get a view inside. Oh, I guess maybe we could just go through right here. a little bit too tight of to a squeeze and we really can see the whole thing from here. And that just is a drop off to the bottom level there. Looks like it's actually restrooms. Maybe there's another way in. All right, heading out right now. Uh, again, if you're enjoying the episodes, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on. And if you want to appear in the credits, you can head over to the Patreon account. And the plans start out at just $1 a month to get your name on the end credits in each one of these episodes. Well, a part maintenance worker just uh, left too soon for me to ask. I was actually going to head over and see if I could maybe squeeze through and uh, or have him unlock the uh, top level and take a look around inside but since we pretty much got uh, about 90% of what was in the top level already and he already drove away I'm not gonna chase him down but uh, thank you all for watching this episode on 539 don't forget to give the episode a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and as always I will see you in the next adventure